It is one of the biggest and one of the most magnificent projects with big animals in Europe. We really expect to learn just to see if it's uh, possible to release such species. I know our forest very well and I'm, each time I'm like this when you see them. Near the German village of Bad Berleburg, about a two-hour drive from Cologne, a grand experiment is underway to reintroduce into the dense forest a species that has not roamed here freely for half a millennium. This project is some kind of model for Western Europe because the bison got completely extinct and wild. So when we bring him back in this ecological system, it's also to see what will, what will change and what there are new possibilities for plants or animals to adapt again to this species. These are European bison, cousins to American bison, that once teamed across the plains. Like their American counterparts, the European bison were almost hunted to extinction in the 19th century, but now they are being brought back. We released eight bisons last year, so now two, uh, two calves have been born last year and we had one case uh, where a young bison bull died, so now actually we have nine individuals. The effort here in Germany is part of a continent-wide program called Rewilding Europe, designed to restore landscapes and bring back fauna like the European bison that have been largely absent for decades or even centuries. Okay, so now we're at the point where we got the GPS data, the last one. So now I'm just checking if we can get a signal from the colors uh, to see if we can track them down from here. Similar projects are taking place in Poland, Spain, the Netherlands, and several other European countries. These Tiere sind nicht gefährlich. Wir haben ja die Tiere damals zusammengeholt. Wir haben sie dann kennenlernen dürfen und haben festgestellt, dass die Wiesente gegenüber den Menschen scheu sind und nicht gefährlich. Aber du gehst mir langsam auf den Keks. So, jetzt verschwinde. European bison can stand six feet high and weigh over a ton. They are the largest land animal in Europe. This group is part of a second herd that has been kept inside a 200-acre enclosure. The other group of bison, released into the forest last year, now roam wherever they like. They can run to Berlin if they want to. The project is the brainchild of an unlikely source. We have lived here for 800 years and uh, we, we ruled the area in olden days. Prince Richard of St. Wittgenstein says he came up with the idea 10 years ago, but that since then he has been hands-off, turning the project over to a conservation group. I, I only had the idea and I gave them the land and I'm pleased to have them. That's what I have done. The estate is 13,000 hectares big, which is like 13,000 football fields. It's been 800 uh, years in our family and it's been in, I can't tell you how many generations, but a lot. The animals have been welcomed by many here, although sightings have been rare. We are, we are hiking and we didn't saw the, the bison. If we see them, I think it's interesting, but we are not, for this, we are not here. The effort has not been free of controversy, however. One concern has been over the possible spread of disease. One of them is the bovida herpes virus that can be transmitted from bison to cow, so that's why we vaccinate the animals against this. But most of the pushback has come from local landowners on the other side of the mountain. The Schäden, die wir jetzt im Moment hier haben, die sind letztes Jahr nur in acht Wochen entstanden bei nur neun Tieren. Wir liegen bei einem Schaden von sechs, siebentausend Euro. Wenn die 25 Tiere werden und sie bleiben nur acht Wochen bei mir, dann habe ich ein ganz großes Problem. Hopefully it will, it will encourage other people to release the bisons in Europe. What I see here for us is if we have a herd of maybe, should we say between 20 and 30. And maybe they won't, it won't be one herd, maybe it will be two herds. That is a little bit our expectations and hope. <laughs>